Welcome to the Metro Madness League. It's the Charming Tarmillions going up against the Heavenly Heatrans in tonight's battle. The second match for each of these teams. The Tarmillions starting off with their Giratina and the Necrozma on the field for the Heatrans. There we go. Giratina going to start things off for us tonight. Going for a try attack. Interesting. That's going to land. Could have a secondary effect. We'll see if it does. That's a, about a quarter, maybe, of Necrozma health. Maybe a little bit less than that. Necrozma goes for the Thunder Shock. That's going to be not very effective against Giratina. So not the greatest move. It's like Giratina gets things started off correctly. No status effect, though, from that try attack. And that's not what they wanted to see, really. When you think about it, here we go. Giratina going for a swagger. That's avoided. No confusion for the Necrozma. And there we go. Goes for a shift gear. Necrozma. Going to raise up its speed and attack. It might be able to go first now, actually. And it does. It's now outspeeds the Giratina. Necrozma going first here. Starts off with a round, which doesn't affect the ghost type Giratina. So that was a bad move to use. Giratina now with the Icicle Crash. Icicle Crash going to be neutral on the Necrozma, but still a good amount of damage. Necrozma in the yellow right now. That was a good hit coming from the Giratina. If we look at these two teams' record at the moment, they both have only fought one battle. The Charmillions lost their first match so they are 0-1 right now while the heat trans were able to come away with the win in their first match so the heat trans want to win to maintain that momentum while the charming char millions definitely don't want to be one of the teams that goes down 0-2 and, and here we go there goes the sandstorm it's out on the field giratina now gonna go for the curse that, oh, is going to actually damage itself and uh, do some damage on the Necrozma at the end of every turn. Giratina could afford to do that, I guess. Because it was at full health. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. We'll see how that uh, helps them in the future, maybe. That does a lot of damage, though, when you think about it. Necrozma in the red already. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, make sure you do to catch more Metro no Madness League solo runs and... Um, our run of Pokemon Violet, which we're doing right now. Here we go. There goes Giratina now with the wing attack. I think that's going to do it. And it does. Necrozma goes down. Yeah, I'm not sure Giratina really needed to do that much damage to itself. It, it doesn't seem like it was worth it. Just lowered its own HP for no reason, I would say. But it did get the Necrozma out. So there's that. Here comes the Heatrans with their Calyrex Ice. It's so able to use two abilities, one of which is unnerved. So if Giratina did have a berry on it, we'll not be able to eat it. Here we go, Giratina. Once again, the fastest thing on the field goes for a topsy-turvy. That doesn't work out for it. As the Calyrex goes for the Skitter Smack. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's very effective. But oh my gosh. Oh, it was a crit. I was like, for a not very effective move, that did some damage. Also lowers Giratina's special attack. Plus the Sandstorm damage. Giratina is just about knocked out. That was a good move for the Calyrex. Heatran is trying to even up this playing field with as little damage done to the Calyrex as possible. Here comes the Weather Ball. Unfortunately, not affected by Sandstorm. I wish it was. It could do ground type damage, you know. Oh, super effective. Does it do ground type damage? Now that I think about it, <laughs> it was super effective against the Calyrex, but why would it be? Now I'm confused. I don't think it, it is affected by Sandstorm. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should look they, these things up, but it did do a decent amount of damage to that Calyrex. Here comes the Incinerate. Now that will be super effective. Ice type Calyrex, a lot of damage. Calyrex in the red. It was a critical hit as well. Char millions. Wow, what a play for them. They're still on their first Pokemon. And they're about to knock out two from the Heat Trans. There was the attack order. Giratina finally goes down. 
The chilling nay ability takes effect and raises Calyrex's attack as the sandstorm subsides. Say that five times fast. There goes the Dialga out for the Charming Charmillions. Now with the raised attacks that if Calyrex is able to use a super effective physical move, they could quickly dispatch of this Dialga if possible. But Dialga is going to go on the uh, attack first here with the Mega Kick. That's avoided, and here comes the Calyrex now with the Iron Tail. It is a super effective physical move. Oh, wait, not very effective physical move. Why did I? You know what? I got to switch around. <laughs> That's right. That was a still type. Um, yeah, so that was not very effective. Would have been super effective if it was against Calyrex. Super Fang. Super Fang, which only does half of the remaining damage, so not the best move to pull out. You're, you're not going to win with that one. Here comes the Dual Chop. Dual Chop actually doing a decent amount of damage. Yes, Dialga in the yellow. Calyrex might be able to do it. Here we go, Dialga now. Goes for the U-turn. Oh, it's going to switch out. And the U-turn will knock out the Calyrex for super effective hit. So he trans onto their last Pokemon as the Dialga gets to eat a berry as well. So it uses the U-turn, heals itself up with a little bit of HP with the orange berry, and then switches out. That's not a bad turn for the Trimillions right there. And the Dialga will be waiting on the bench in case it's needed. Intake comes out on the field now. Exerting pressure. Remember, that halves the amount of metronome that the Heatrans will be able to use, and that's not what you want to see against your last Pokemon, because now it will only have eight turns to do something, then it's going to have to struggle. There we go. It's wishy-washy. The schooling firm form takes effect. As strong as a legendary. Here we go. Here comes Entei now. It starts off with a Scald, which is going to be not very effective, but might get a burn. No burn. Unfortunately for them, Wishy Washy gets a chance. There it goes with the Sludge Bomb. That could get a poison. Sludge Bomb, not a bad move. Does a lot of damage, actually, to the Entei. No poison, but a good attack. Here comes Entei now with the Bullet Punch. That's going to be not very effective. Not a great move. Charmillion's not really fighting well against the Wishy Washy. But I guess all they have to do is stall it out with the pressure in play. Here comes Wishy Washy. Goes for a safeguard. That's a wasted turn. That's two metronomes you waste by using that. I'm not sure you want to use that move. You want to get rid of this Entei and focus on the Dialga. But unfortunately, they wasted that turn. Here comes a Stealth Rock from Entei. That's a wasted turn from the Charmillions, at least. It seems like they're stalling. So they're. I think they're focusing on that... Um, that pressure ability uh, allow the wishy washy to take itself out. Here comes the Icicle Spear, which is not very effective. Of course, hits more than once. Can it even get Entei in the yellow? Uh, if it hits four times, it might. It does. It gets it down to the yellow, which uh, not bad. Hitting four times, it does a decent amount of damage, although it is resistant. Here comes the Entei. Entei going with <laughs> an Ice Shard. Ice Shard coming for Entei, another not very effective ice move. I, they're, they're on an ice kick tonight. Here we go with the Throat Chop. There it goes. Ooh, good hit. Entei eats a berry. It's going to raise its defense up now, so physical attacks is going to do less damage to the Entei. Keep that in mind. Entei now going for its offensive with... A Smackdown. Smackdown doing an okay amount. Wishy Washy really able to take the hits, but you have to remember this Wishy Washy has been on the field. There was a waterfall, super effective stab move. That's excellent. Entei goes down. But Wishy Washy used a lot of turns. You have to wonder how much metronome it has left. I don't think it's going to have much. Now, a side note, you ever wonder how Wishy Washy blinks? Like, the animation blinks, if you notice, but it's a it's a fish. It's weird. I don't I don't get how that blink works. 
<laughs> What's happening there? There goes the magic room coming from the Dialga. Here we go. There goes the confusion. Confusion, not very effective. Taking some damage. Wishy Washy actually in a good position. The heat trends looks like they've turned things around. The only worry is how much PP they have left. There goes a head smash coming from the Dialga. Ooh, that does a lot. Wishy Washy. Oh my goodness. It's in the red right now. That was a huge amount of recoil though for the Dialga. There was a hyper voice, not very effective. But oh, that does a lot too. Dialga's on the edge. It's down to the wire. Wishy Washy loses his schooling though, and that might be it. That might cost them the match. Dialga gets to go first. If it's an attack, that's it. It's a shadow bone and that is it. So Wishy Washy did not run out of PP. Unfortunately, <coughs> unfortunately though, it just couldn't hang it at the end. It came down to the wire, but the Charmillions will come away with the win. So they will not go down 0-2. They're 1-1 and and Heavenly Heat Trends also 1-1 and on the season. Thank you so much for watching. We definitely appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Metro Madness League. And I will catch you next time.